What's going on YouTube? GSNR right here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about the iOS 12.1.3, 12.1.4 and iOS 12.2 jailbreak status. And also we're going to discuss about the Uncovered Dark, which has been updated to reflect the beta 50, which contains a lot of bug fixes. So you probably know that the iOS 12.2 is the only version currently signed, which means that the iOS 12.1.4 and 12.1.3, which do have publicly available vulnerabilities, are no longer signed and you can no longer downgrade to these versions right now. Now the iOS 12.2 is basically the worst version you can be on in terms of jailbreaking because it fixes a lot of security issues and as you can see here on this page which is basically the security content it does fix quite a lot including some kernel vulnerabilities which could have been used for jailbreaking. Now of course one of these vulnerabilities is actually public and as I mentioned in one of my previous videos this one can indeed be used for a sandbox escape which is a component of a jailbreak but this one alone cannot create a jailbreak so we still need a kernel vulnerability before we're going to be able to jailbreak the iOS 12.1.4 and iOS 12.1.3. However, you should keep in mind that even this vulnerability in here, which is basically a sandbox escape that we might be able to use for a Houdini-like program before we get a jailbreak, has been patched in iOS 12.2, which means that iOS 12.2 has currently no vulnerabilities available, so it's definitely impossible at this moment to jailbreak iOS 12.2, and we're probably not going to have any vulnerability for it until the iOS 12.3 is released and security researchers make their vulnerabilities public. Now why is this important? Well I get a lot of questions about a possible iOS 12.2 or 12.1.4 or 12.1.3 jailbreak because some of the people who are using the uncovered jailbreak on iOS 12.1.2 and lower experienced issues and boot loop their devices or had to restore. So I can understand where people come from. However for the moment the iOS 12.2 is one of the worst versions you can be on and if you're running iOS 12.1.4 or 12.1.3 you should definitely stay there it's much much better than the iOS 12.2. However as I said for the moment all we have is a proper sandbox escape and privilege escalation. Now don't get me wrong this is actually quite a lot. A privilege escalation basically allows us to be root and the sandbox escape allows us to read and write to anywhere on the system and if we combine this with a proper remount we would be able to basically write even to the system folders that are protected and require a remount. You would normally be able to write only to the var partition, which is basically the user data partition. Anyways, this is a lot, but it's still not enough for a proper jailbreak, so for the moment the hopes for an iOS 12.1.4 or iOS 12.1.3 jailbreak are pretty far in the future, probably even a few months, but for iOS 12.2 it's even worse. We need to wait for the iOS 12.3 first so that we can see which vulnerabilities have been patched because those vulnerabilities would work on iOS 12.2. Now, for those of you who are already jailbroken with the Uncover and prefer the Uncover Dark, you can definitely get it. It has been updated just a day ago in order to basically reflect the Beta 50, which is the latest version of the Uncover available. I'm going to link it in the description down below, the GitHub page in here, and if you want to compile it yourself you can do so, but there are also the releases available in here with the IPA file. Now apparently the Beta 3 fixes a critical apt install bug, so it's the Beta 2 that actually merged the changes from the Uncover beta 50. So yeah, if you're running the Uncovered Dark, definitely update the beta 3 in here so that you get the best Uncover experience. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated, I am GSNow, until the next time, peace out.